Hello everyone, my name is Shan. Today I'm going to look at the book's pictures and going to make my own science book like this. Alright friends! Halloween! Bye bye bye! So now, let's go look at the book's picture. I'm going to say the sentence I'm going to say! It was the night before Halloween. Arthur's family was busy making the house look spooky. It was so spooky in fact that Arthur had trouble falling asleep. It was even worse the next morning. Help! said Arthur when he opened his eyes. It's just me, said the W. Don't forget, you have to take me trick-or-treating tonight. Do I really have to? asked Arthur. You really have to, said Mother. And I want to go to every house, said D.W. At school, Arthur didn't recognize anyone at school. There was a giant robot in class taking attendance. You sound just like my teacher, Mr. Micro, said Arthur. I am your teacher said the robot. The only one Arthur recognized was the brain. I am a big potato, said the brain. Eat these, said Francine, putting out some special morning snacks. The, the vampire blood and bat wing brownies. Everyone ate them except Arthur. Then everyone got their head hands tied up, and then, uh, bus and then Buster took out some balls and said they were filled with human eyeballs, heart, and brain. When it was Arthur's turn, he wouldn't even touch the ball. What a scary cat! Chicken, they're only called spaghetti, peeled grapes, and jello. And it was time for trick or treating. Buster knew which houses to skip. Don't go there, they only give apples. Gross! said Francine. And don't go to the house near the corner. That's the witch's house. My brother saw someone go the last Halloween and never came out. Arthur and D.W. had trouble keeping up with the others. First, D.W. got her tail caught. Her, then her back broke. You were just a head, you were a head, a pain in the head. D.W. must be short for Dimwit. But D.W. didn't answer. Arthur, Arthur looked behind just in time to see D.W. going into the witch's house. Arthur went inside. Look! cried Buster. Arthur just went into the witch's house. So did D.W. Maybe they'll put them in their oven, says Weller. Maybe they're, maybe she's using them for a weird scientific experiment, said the brain. Look, it's our friend D.W. doing on a scientific experiment. Maybe they locked him in the cellar to starve, said Buster. Arthur thought he saw a ghost around in the house in the, hall, in the long hallway. Then he saw a little crack on the door with a light. There was voices. One was his sister's. I have to go right now. I'm gonna. Be, I have to. I'm late. My mom is. I hear my mom calling us. I don't hear anything. Said D W. My name is Mrs. Tibble. Said the old man. Please, I think you won't leave until first you finish some donut and some cider and yeah, chocolate, your favorite, said D.W. I've been waiting for trick-or-treaters, but you're the only ones. Maybe it's broke. Long ago, 
our doorbell never stopped ringing. Maybe they're broken like the windows, said D.W. Mrs. Tibble nodded. Maybe if we help you to fix your house, maybe it won't look so scary. Mrs. Tibble smiled. Then, when Arthur finished his donut and his cider, they w Mrs. Tibble turned on the porch light and then they went outside. Mrs. Tibble gave them a hug. See you on Saturday, you red leaves, said Arthur. You're alive. You're so brave, said Sue Ellen. Watch in the back, I suppose. To. There must be human eyeballs, heart, and brains. Just reach in and see and feel it, unless you're too scared. Can we, we've been to every house now. Can we go, can we take the shortcut to end to the cemetery? The cemetery on Halloween? Are you guys crazy? Come on, follow me. The cemetery is a great place. People are just trying to get in, said Arthur. So this is the end of the story, and I hope you have enjoyed time watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!